Welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to cover a little bit about Storage Explorer. Now, what Azure Storage Explorer is, is a standalone application that allows you to work with Azure storage data on Windows machines, Mac OS, and even Linux. In this lesson, we're going to walk through the process of installing Storage Explorer and using it to connect to our storage account. Now, as far as prerequisites go, if we're using a Windows workstation, Microsoft recommends Windows 10, although Storage Explorer will work with Windows 8 and Windows 7. If we have a Mac that we're working from, Azure Storage Explorer is supported on Mac OS 10.12 Sierra and later versions. Now, as far as Linux goes, while Azure Storage Explorer may work on other distributions, it's only supported on Ubuntu 14.04, 16.04, and 18.04, and they're x64 architectures. So to install Azure Storage Explorer, what we're going to do is launch storageexplorer.com. And what this does is take us to the Azure Storage Explorer page where we can download it. It's not a gigantic installation, but it is 90 meg, so it's not tiny either. This will allow us to access multiple accounts and subscriptions. So let's go ahead and launch the installer here. And we'll accept the agreement and begin the installation. So once the installation completes, we can launch Storage Explorer here. So to connect to our storage account, we add our account here using the little plug icon here. And we have a couple different options. We can connect to Azure, Azure China, Azure Germany, the government, or even a new environment. And we also have four options to connect with a connection string, a shared access signature URI, a storage account name and key, or a local emulator. For this exercise, we'll use a storage account name and key. So let's bounce back over to our storage account, and we'll copy our key here, and it's called My AZ103 Storage Account. And we can see our storage domain here. We'll leave it at Azure. And we'll connect. We can see that it successfully added the new connection. And if we expand our blob containers, we can see my first blob is listed. And at this point, we can explore our Azure storage using the Microsoft Azure Storage Explorer tool. For example, we can download we can copy a URL to our file name here, and we can even upload new files. Through Storage Explorer, we can even rename our file here. And down at the bottom, we can see the activities queued. And then it tells us here that our view may be out of date. Do we want to refresh? Yes, we do. And then we can see my IP new .txt is now listed. And we can do the same thing with file shares. We have a test file share here. And we can even create a new folder within our test file share. And then, of course, we can upload files to our file share right through Storage Explorer. But as you can see here, we can browse our queues and we can browse our tables. So the Microsoft Azure Storage Explorer is installed by going to storageexplorer.com and you can connect to your storage account via several different ways. In this example here, we used the storage account name and one of the access keys. The Microsoft Azure Storage Explorer offers a real easy to use interface for managing your Azure storage accounts.